All right, Peter. Um, listen, we, we're, we're chatting ahead of the FEA Intermediate Cup final. Um, massive occasion for the club, and I'm sure you're looking forward to it. I can't wait now. Um, really, really looking forward to it. As you say, it's a massive occasion for the club. There's a real buzz about um, everybody chatting about it and stuff. And just getting our last league game over last night now before it, we can really start to focus on a pair now. So, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Busy. And I'm sure down through the years, Peter, I mean, you've been involved in so many success stories for Cockhill Celtic, but the FEI Intermediate Cup, there were so many disappointments, wasn't there? Because you guys probably had enough quality to go all the way in this competition, but it, it never really happened. No, it just never really happened for us. Um, it's always been a target point every year. It was kind of, we said the marker. We always said the marker, we want to win the league and, you know, obviously try and win as much as we can. Um, and the was always talked about. Uh, it's just different occasions. It just didn't happen for us. Um, a lot of times we were left disappointed in ourselves. I think we thought we could have come out of games with better results. Um, we did ourselves down. So it was just more disappointing. But now yeah. that finally, like the final now, it's uh, great. And what do you think has been the difference this year then, Peter? Is it a case of just, you know, you know the right results at the right time and, and good performances? Or, I mean, I mean, you have to probably have a wee bit of luck as well along the way. Well, there's definitely a bit of luck. Eh? Definitely a bit of green, especially with the way ties. It's very difficult. Um, you know, I think we just set the stall early. Um, or the, Remember back the first round of this, we beat Bonnie up um, in Little Kenny. With men sent off that day too. Down to yeah. nine men, I think, for yeah. the majority of the second half. And after that result, I think we kind of felt a real, you know, come forward in this tournament. There wasn't going to be many more tougher fixtures and positions we could be in. Yes. And we left ourselves in that night. Uh, so I think when we set the stall out early, anyone came up against them, we thought, no, oh, we can do this. We had a couple of occasions where we were backs against the wall. And, uh, we dug deep and we got the right results. So yeah, yeah, and I'm and I'm sure as well as that you learned from seasons in the past where you probably should have won matches that you didn't, and 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 that experience probably helped along the way this season. Big time, yet uh, the know how to win a game, Max, massive, definitely came into play. And um, as you say, there's a lot of seasons we were left a bit raw, but all our experiences, I think, came to our help this year. Actually. Yeah, Gavin's Gavin has assembled a. A good squad, plenty of experience in there, plenty of good talent, and, and a few new additions, which is which has helped too. Yeah, really, really good squad. Um, I think we oh, was loads of depth. Um, it could be any eleven starting uh, any week. You don't, you, nobody knows, nobody's guaranteed their starting spot, and any subs or anybody that's brought in, you know, it's, a, it's usually the same or strength in the team in every position. We like for like everywhere. Um, there's really good mixture, as you say, of experience and of the young players coming through. I think. Um, Otherwise, he made a real impression. Um, so, yeah, anyway, big fight now. See, he's going to start in eleven next week. Yeah, and he will have his work done on the opposition. I'm sure Gavin will have plenty of, of info on on Rockmount. I'm sure he has been well studied this stage. Yeah, uh, we haven't been fed too much yet. We were still concentrating on our league and stuff. Um, I'm sure we got a lot of fish to do this week now, yeah. But I think he's a lot of work done. Yeah. And, and and any thoughts about the venue itself, then, Peter? I mean, the showgrounds in Sligo. It's it's it's. I mean, it's a famous ground and everything. Would you guys have like to have had a chance at the Aviva, or are you happy enough? I definitely would have liked to have the Aviva. Um, it's obviously the one everyone talks about. It's you never forget. Like it'd be amazing. But what do you do? Yeah. Uh, the Sugarins class venue played there I think, once before. Uh, lovely little stadium. Yeah. Hopefully you had a big crowd in there and get a good atmosphere. Well, that's it. It's a, a, you know, it's not a bad journey for for the fans to go up, and there'll be plenty of Cockhill supporters there. I think so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, what's well, about half the journey to Dublin? So I know. I think. From the top, people are going to be a lot of people making the journey down. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, listen, Peter, you've got plenty of Ulster Senior League medals in the, in the back pocket at this stage and cup medals as well, but wouldn't it be nice to add an FA Intermediate Cup winner's medal? Oh, it'd be great. Hey? You know? He's got to uh, be right in the middle of uh, the mantelpiece. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because 